Welcome to the 100% shiny hunting locations or dragon Pokemon. Make sure to check out the timestamps down below to find the dragon you want. Let's first make our sandwich. And for this, I'm going to be using one avocado and two salty herba mysticas. If you have another recipe suggestion, please put it down in the comments below. Make sure that you see sparkling power dragon level three and encounter power dragon level three. You don't want to mess up the sandwich recipe because if you don't get encounter power, they will not spawn at a constant rate. Also, something you want to make sure you have turned on is the zoom in trick, which we are going to double tap home on your controller for. And that does this to look off and see shiny pokemon in the distance to enable that just go to your home menu go to the system settings scroll all the way down to system go down further over here and then click on the zoom button and turn it on that way you can see pokemon and not mess up on if they are shiny or not if they're too small to normally see all right let's get hunting all right so let's talk about applin applin's a little bit interesting because it's going to be in this entire area the weird part about applin is that they are all in the trees as you can see here so you can decide to auto battle them if you want to knock them down and if you keep roaming around this apple tree farm area you should be able to find a bunch of like sometimes you get a group of them that spawns like yeah there we go there's a group of them that spawn so you can check those out if you want you can despawn those out and maybe respawn them back in so let's see if we can knock those guys they completely despawned and then we head back and if they don't respawn in the same spot yep they have spawned somewhere else over here so you can go this entire spot hit them off the trees you have to be really focused Focus on the little trees to see if there is a green apple so you can kind of go back and forth you can pick a row to make it easier but honestly if you want to make this hunt very easy i suggest going back to paldea doing the afk hunt all you have to do is head over to tag tree thicket and you want to head all the way down to this location right by the team star base once you arrive at the team star base you want to align yourself right by this tree and this is a good landmark because you'll be team star base will be behind you and you want to run into the tree and knock down the applin make sure that you have a floating pokemon in this case i used a solomance then after that i moved back a bit and sent my solomance out to hit that applin to fight it over and over again and it basically kept farming them now the cool part is because it is going to afk hunt the shiny applin it'll return back to you if it is a shiny remember you have 30 minutes to do this so maybe you can save beforehand if you want to save some of your ingredients after you get a shiny and it comes back to you you can go ahead and knock the tree get your shiny come all the way back to kitakami get your syrup apple and evolve it into a shiny diplin i really suggest to do that for applin as that is a lot easier but if you want to do the challenge of finding one in a tree just for the sake of you know being a little more dlc shiny hunter like well there's your apple tree farm, and that's the tricks you really have to do to figure out your applin. The next Pokemon that we're going to be shiny hunting is Jangma OO. And the best place to do this is going to be in the Paradise Barrens. And as you can see, they spawn crazy amounts everywhere. Now, these are not family spawns, but solo spawns, actually. So make sure you're turning home. Like I said, make sure you're turning your camera and it's right in front of me. Um, You see, this really works. And you know what? Oh, wait. Wait, don't run away. Wait, it's running away. Where do, oh, okay, make sure when you're in front of one to save your game because, you know, you don't want to lose the opportunity of losing a dragon type. You know what? If someone subscribes to the channel, uh, throw throw your friend code down in the comments. I'll add you and you can get this lucky Jangma. Oh, all right, let's catch it. And caught in everyone's favorite Pokeball. So pretty much, like I was saying, this is the area where it's going to be. You can go around this entire area. So just make sure you're not running really fast. I suggest just, you know, slowly walking with a ride on so you can make sure all these Pokemon spawn in on the background. Make sure you are rotating your camera completely. That way you are kind of lucky like me, but you are lucky because you're subscribed to the channel. This video is a 100% chance to get a shiny Jangma. Oh, 100% chance just depends on how much time you spend in this area. So yeah, just walk until they despawn and then you can walk back in the area until you get your shiny. The next Pokemon that we're going to be hunting is Noibat. And I got four locations for you, but there are probably more in the game, but these ones are pretty simple. So the first one is going to be our Masui Town spawn to the east side. 
So basically, we're going to be doing the town spawn method right over here. So just head over towards this spot right here. When it shows Revelers Rope, they will all start spawning and flying up in the air. The shiny is going to be very obvious, as you can see over here in this image, completely different. So this one's very simple. Just make sure you are doing the, the zoom in trick with the double home. Zoom out if you can't see it in the grass. Just look up. If you don't see your shiny, you can just go ahead, back right up into the town, goes up. And then you walk right back out and then a bunch more should start to spawn again and take flight into the air, which makes your life a lot easier than peering into the grass. If you don't want to obviously just do town spawns over and over again, well, you can probably just go up this entire Revelers Road because they'll be along the entire pathway. That's why I got Vulpix in our fire shiny hunting video along this path. So we could just do that as well. So feel free to hop out if you get bored of town spawns, but usually town spawns are a lot easier and a lot faster to cycle through. But as you can see, they do spawn along the way and you just have to make sure you are looking around for them. Well, Revelers Road and the right of the town is one area, but let's head over to another spot that has a ton of them in the area. The next spot is going to be Infernal Pass. Once you teleport here, just go ahead and move down off the mountain area here until you start to see Oni Mountain. So the area is actually Oni Mountain. That's just the fast travel point. Oh, you can see a bunch of Noibats spawning again, and they completely are in this area and take over everywhere here. So you can go ahead and see them here. You can go back and forth once you despawn a whole group of them. You see on the mountains, it looks like there's a lot of them, but look at that. Uh, you see them all over here. You can rush down over here as well. They're on Oni's Maw. They are everywhere. Uh, usually this would turn into a bunch of Salandits, but for some reason, they just have Noibats in this entire area. Oh, there's a Salandlet. <laughs> Another town spawn that we can do is going to be by the Kitakami Hall. What you want to do is teleport to this area and head over to the top steps right over here. And basically, once you arrive in this area, you just want to walk out. It'll show Oni Mountain and then you see all the Noibats start to take flight in this area. Luckily, they all just go up in the air, just like the other ones, making it a lot easier to reset over and over again. And look how fast you can completely keep cycling through them. I just quickly wait. I look for groups. I look around. If I don't see a shiny spawn in that short amount of time, I'm just going to quickly go back, reset, come back, a new set. And that's how you're going to do it as well over here. Now, the fourth spot that I have to show you for Noibats is going to be at Mosfell Confluence. This is another open area and you could see just tons of Noibat just flying around over here. You want to just a change of pace? Well, this is going to be the spot that you're going to want to do it in. And you can carefully just run around and look around at the solo spawns or some of the group spawns that do show up in this area. And always just make sure you're constantly rotating your camera, even at a higher area as some of them just happen to take flight. We got a shiny Noibat in the Mosfell Confluence. So let's just go ahead and catch this mod. There we go. And we got it. Nice. Seriously, we just got another shiny. You should definitely hit that subscribe button so you know when the next shiny video is going to be up. By the way, comment down below what shiny hunting video I should do next. Now, the next Pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be Gumi. But I honestly believe the better spot to hunt this Pokemon is in Main Paldea. But if you do want to hunt this in the Kitikami region, you can head over towards this area right over here. This is the spot where you're going to be battling Pheasantipity. So this is the exact spot marked on the map. I'll zoom out so you can see it. So it's right from Fallen Horn, fast travel to this spot over here. And once you arrive here, you can hop into this cave and this cave called the Chilling Waterhead, you're going to find some interesting Pokemon. Now, it's not like a lot of them spawn in here, but they do show up. So there's a Gumi. You got some Whoopers, Quagsires, a little Tynamos are also here. But you can see that there are Gumis scattered in this area. So as you climb up here, look, there's more Gumis and you can keep going up higher. You'll find more Gumis over here. So kind of to really hunt this, you got to go up and down until you find the Gumi. And it's going to be really obvious because it's going to be a golden Gumi. Once you climb this entire area, then you can pretty much 
despawn out the bottom gummies and reset your hunt by seeing them and then heading again to the bottom. Once you get to the top, you pretty much can just start heading back to the bottom to spawn in new gummies. So the best way to do this is fly, go slow, don't go too fast. That way they can spawn in and you can look for the gold one. And uh, let me know if actually any of you get a shiny gummy inside of this cave, if you decide to hunt it. Like I said, Caldea is the better spot, but I just wanted to be thorough and give you the shiny hunting spot for gummy. So there is a second location to hunt gummies and gudras, and that's going to be in this special cave over here which is located in the timeless woods this is the spot to hunt them so gummies will spawn in this cave now if there are a lot of pokemon on the outside i feel like they kind of affect the inside spawns so to make your life easier just kind of clear out these guys from annoying you that way you can focus on these spawns in the cave and once you clear them out, you can go back in and check on all the Goomies and as well as Sligu and see how many spawn in here. You can clear these guys out once again. And when you're done taking them out, you can just go back out here. And if you want, you can get further away so they can kind of respawn. So just back up, get enough distance from the cave. And then when you feel like you have enough, you can head right back into the cave. That way you don't have to deal with any of the outside spawns. So we should be able to find, there it is, two Sligus and a Gumi. So this is another great cave in the Timeless Forest. Let me know if you are going to be hunting here. Okay, so Gibble is the final dragon Pokemon in this DLC that you can hunt. But the problem is its spawns are really bad because if you go into any cave around all those caves and on top of those caves are going to spawn other Pokemon, which is going to ruin the Gibble spawns within caves. If you want to see more Gibble spawns, you might want to check out the ground sandwich one. But I do suggest you hunt Gibble in Paudea and not in Kitakami. You can check out the dragon video or ground video to hunt this Pokemon. So unfortunately, nothing good for Gibble. But if you watch the old videos, you should definitely have one. Now that you got all these shiny dragon Pokemon in the teal mask, you should check out this video over here.